Okay, I want to talk to you today about not losing sight of the horse. I'm going to come at this as the, uh, from the standpoint of an instructor teaching a student to do an activity with a horse. And keep in mind that horses are living, breathing, sensitive animals. And they deserve our respect and they deserve fair treatment. And so we're not going to use force. A horse needs to be taught. Now, does that mean we don't get firm? No, we get firm when we need to be firm, but we don't forcefully make things happen. And so if, if you're looking at it from the standpoint of the horse, they don't learn when they're stressed because neither do humans. We don't learn when they're stressed. So if you're an instructor helping this student bring this horse through an activity, Dennis Reese taught me that there's a rule of three. A rule of three means that if you are working with a horse and the horse gives you a good try, and he does that three times, leave it alone. But if you're teaching a student who's dealing with a horse, that horse may have gotten it right, but the student got it wrong, so that horse is gonna to have to do it over and over and over. Well, you're gonna to need to watch that horse that you don't emotionally trouble them. And so by that, they're gonna think you're nagging them, you're, you're confused, so they're confused, or whatever. So you're gonna to have to find a good stopping place for that student, or redirect something, let that horse take a break, and then afterwards, after you get through with that, you may have to take the horse and restore that horse. You're going to have to bring that horse back to the same mental place that he was before, understanding what you mean when you apply an aid and uh, have them to move off of pressure and have them to be clearly understanding of it the way they were before you started that role with the student. And that is how you don't lose sight of the horse because you can't focus only on the student to getting them right and totally sacrifice the horse.